now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this is uh, Ryan Shimano with Loyal Green and GoodBusiness101.org, and uh, we're gonna do a little mowing tutorial for you today. Um, first, we'll show you the setup of our truck here, which is pretty slick. Then we'll mow this lawn, and um, hopefully. You guys will have a better idea of how to mow grass like a professional after this is done. But if you want to come see our truck here, we bought old U-Haul trucks and we had gates fabricated onto the back and eliminated our trailers and it's worked out great for us. I would highly recommend doing this uh, for your company. But to get these gates down, it's real simple. Pull that down. Hold out the gate. And it's that easy. Okay, come on up in here. So then what we got in here, we have a 48 inch walk behind, 61 inch zero turn, a 30 inch commercial push mower, we have two trimmers hung up on the wall, uh, just really simply made them out of a couple hooks here and then we bungee them to keep them from popping up as we're driving. We just let the blower sit on the ground um, in our two cycle uh, right there. A couple tools you might need, string, stuff like that. Alright, but uh, pull the mower off the truck, we'll mow this lawn and show you how it's done. I did right there was I made my perimeter. I went around everything, blowing everything into the center. That's a huge part of mowing grass like a professional. You want to get your grass away from the mulch beds, if there was a white fence, if there was siding, uh, a car, anything like that. You want to get all your grass cut and into the middle so then when you're striping it up, it's not plastering everything. So that looks terrible and you're going to have some really pissed off customers. Um, so I made my, I made my, um, perimeter and we're good to go now. It's really simple stuff. Uh, but if you want to come look at this real quick, uh, we use the pro slides as opposed to a wheeled Velky. Um, I highly recommend these as well. Um, I've used every kind of Velky there is and in my opinion this is the best it actually acts as a striping kit because it goes from wheel to wheel and mats the grass down as it goes um, the only time i think this might not be the best choice for you is if you do a lot of commercial and you're doing a lot of driving over parking lots to get to different sections of grass or something like that because this this just stays on the grass you don't take that on concrete at all you just step off of it um, as you can kind of tell, this is the final cut of the year, so the grass isn't terribly long, but it was hairy. Um, don't want to leave it looking like that all winter, and we can chop up some of these leaves for them as we're here doing this. All right, now I'll continue, and uh, I'm just going to stripe it up, and then uh, we'll move on to another section of grass. That's another thing. Always uh, section your grass off and cut all the grass in that section, and then move on maybe you might be making a perimeter at a like typical house layup where you go around one side and come around the other get your perimeter done and then section it off and cut all your different areas and if you notice i always make two stripes on the strip of grass in between the sidewalk and the street um, 
so sometimes you don't have to, but nine times out of ten, it's best just to make two two passes. Make sure you cut all the grass. A uh, good rule of thumb is any grass that can be mowed with the mower gets mowed with the mower and not trimmed. So mow all the grass you can mow. But I'll get back to it. Stripe this up. that just back and forth cut the grass very very simple uh, one other thing I want to show you on our mowers is our flap over here um, the mower is just gonna come with a plastic chute here you're not gonna be able to contain your grass within your deck uh, which is gonna be important for when you're mowing in tight areas or anything like that so uh, we just made a very simple system here where drilled in two studs right here for the, the strap to hook on. Drop it down, and it's shut, pull it open, it's open, and then mine, I have it just right where I can hook that in right there, pull this down right here, and I keep the grass in, but it's it's still able to get out a little bit, but I'm not gonna be plastering mulch beds or anything like that if you're cutting some tall grass in a in a tight area, that, that little feature right there makes a big difference. And really with the grass this, this short and this thin at this time of the year, you could probably cut this whole, whole lawn just like this. So I'll do that right here and it should be fine. Something that maybe you can't see in the video that's going to be important to getting a, a professional looking cut is making sure you're going slow enough that you're not the front of the deck's not bumping up and down with every bump. Um, you can kind of put a little up pressure here to help keep it down. They even make weights that could go out here on the end of your mower if you wanted to do that. Uh, I really don't think it's necessary. Um, uh, but other than that, make sure you have sharp blades. Uh, we sharpen our blades at least twice a week, maybe even three times a week, depending on uh, what we're cutting in the spring. Um, but I mean, if you have dog blades, it's, it's going to look like shit when you're done with it. It, it really is. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to get on this video is how to properly turn. Um, a mistake I see a, a lot of guys doing it and still see some of my guys do it um, is when you turn, a uh, lawnmower like this, whether it's the walk behind or the zero turn, you need to have both wheels moving. You can't just have the the pivot wheel just stuck in the ground and turning and digging that grass. Like you need you need to have one wheel going forward and one wheel going back. So first I'll show you how to do it the wrong way and then I'll show you how to do it the right way. Um, and you may have noticed when I was right over here um, and I made a turn, I did a reverse turn to keep the the shoot side of the mower facing away from the beds even though you know there's not much grass getting cut it's just a good habit to get into but all right so first i'm gonna do the wrong way then i'm gonna do the right way 
so kind of focus on the wheels here. So we have all the grass mowed. Now we're gonna do the trimming and edging, everything like that. Um, just the biggest, the biggest thing to me with mowing and or edging and trimming is have like some kind of a plan. And nine times out of ten, this is my plan. Start right here, front right, front right corner of the lawn. I'll edge that edge that little section of grass and I'll hop over to the other side, I'll edge all the way down and then I'll go to the back and I'll trim and I'm going to come back and I'm going to pick up in the front and I'm going to do it very methodically and there's very little thought involved. I'm just going to go around and trim and edge everything that needs to be trimmed and edged in the process. Um, but this is a mistake I see a lot of the new guys doing is they're, they're at one part of the yard, they're at the other part, they're bouncing here and there next thing you know they're putting the trimmer back on the truck and they haven't trimmed half the things that need to be trimmed but and trim it really is uh, that quick and easy um, basically trimming comes down to edges and obstacles that's all you, all you need to really do is go around all the edges any kind of obstacles like here we had this pipe and this tree so those are the two obstacles everything else was just an edge just a matter of running around with uh, the trimmer knocking down all that stuff close to the edge um, I mean, really, <clears throat> the biggest thing I worry about with the trimmer is uh, scalping, uh, cutting the grass way, way down uh, to the ground. Uh, that's you know frowned upon in, in most situations. Um, a way you can help avoid that is to not give it full throttle. Just give it a little bit of throttle. It'll it'll cut the grass. Um, 
and then a good a good rule rule of thumb this trimmer head if you can tell by the way the string is it's spinning that way it's always spinning that way it never spins the other way so if I'm like this I have the, the trimmer head working with me as it's running down that that groove <clears throat> that is why I highly recommend if you're just getting starting edging that you kind of walk backwards and, and do it like that um, it just the, the string stays in that groove much uh, better and easier and you're going to get a nice flush edge. Um, I, I personally now do it the opposite way and go like this, but I've been doing it for a long time and uh, I was tired of walking backwards. So <laughs> I figured out how to get really good at doing it the other way too, uh, but it is much more difficult and I would not recommend trying that until you're you're comfortable with the trimmer. Um, that's, that's all there is to it. It's just you've got to practice and you'll get better at it. Okay. Move. Okay. So uh, mowing a lawn, you have you have three three parts to it. You mow the grass, you trim, edge, and you blow. So uh, we've already mowed, we've trimmed and edged, and now we're on to blowing, which is definitely the the easiest uh, part but I still see guys mess this up and it is amazing um, like anything else when you're mowing grass you need to have some kind of a plan and here's your plan like every single time start out on the street blow it off the street because it's gonna go over the, the strip in between the sidewalk and in the street and then it's gonna get on the sidewalk so blow the street off first and then blow the sidewalk off just one time instead of blowing it off and then blowing the street and blowing the sidewalk again see that happen all the time um, but other than that uh, mainly for the blower you're just gonna full throttle with the blower 90% um, of the time um, when you would let off the throttle on the blower as if say you got some mulch or grass in a mulch bed uh, something like that you're gonna want to ease up and try to keep that mulch in the bed but blow the clippings out um, but I'll, just, I'll show you how it's done too that um, I didn't go around back because there's just a teeny tiny slab of concrete off the deck and as I was trimming I blew it off with the, the trimmer um, so that's another little tip for you if you have very little to blow around back just blow it off with the trimmer after you're done trimming and don't have to walk back there with the blower um, one other thing I did think of while, while I was blowing is um, where you create your edge from edging the concrete borders if you just blow lightly your your grass clippings are just going to get all caught in that edge and they're going to turn the wheat color and they're, it's going to look bad uh, so make sure you're blowing the grass all the way up and out of the edge and uh, that'll get you the professional look you want and your customers expect okay.